Hi, in this video I will show you how to extend a Linux partition uh, by adding a additional virtual hard disk on a VM. So, um, so you can do this on a um, center uh, on a uh, VMware Fusion or VMware Workstation, VirtualBox, or whatever you want to use uh, as a virtual machine. On ESX, you can do it while the VMs are uh, running. Um, but in this case, uh, we have to do it while the VMs is powered up because I'm using a VMware Fusion, uh, which is the uh, Mac, you know, version of kind of VMware Workstation type application. Okay, so um, I have this VMware Fusion up here. And I have this VM in question, which I'm gonna extend. Uh, so right now, I have a hard drive here, which is only 15 gigabyte. So I'm gonna add another hard drive into this uh, VM because it's gonna be uh, 50 gigabytes. So I need some more space for this VM. So I'm just gonna right click and click on settings, add device, choose the uh, near hard disk. Okay, and I'm gonna choose 50 gigabyte, and I don't want to split into multiple files. Okay, it's a mess. Uh, so just gonna keep it 50 gigabyte. I don't want to pre-allocate the uh, disk because you know I don't want to space all the use. I, I don't want to use all the space, basically. So I'm just gonna click on apply here. Okay, so it's done. So I should be able to see this uh, on my VM settings here. Just gonna close it off. And I'm gonna power on this VM. Okay, and I'm gonna make it a little bigger for you to see. Okay, so it's gonna put through this uh, process, and then the uh, new hard drive will be detected in the root process. This is CentOS 6.5, so you can do the same thing on almost any Linux distribution uh, like uh, Fedora, you know, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, SUSE, uh, Ubuntu, right? Uh, I'm, I'm using uh, LVM as my volume manager, so uh, that would make that would make it easier for me to expand the partition that I'm trying to expand uh, while the VM is running. So. Okay, so it's having an issue with my connecting to my Puppet uh, server. So it's taking a little longer here because I part of that. Oh. Okay, so I have the VM up, so I'm just going to expand it again. Okay, log in. Okay, so. DFH. So DFH will show that I have var directory with only uh, 3.4 gigabyte available. I want to have it more available because I'm going to be placing some of my KVM virtual machines here in this directory. And you see it's using logical volume because the devices are showing as, under the file system column, it's showing as, you know, uh, dev, mapper, VG. And it'll be that's uh, kind of naming that I chose when I install this uh, OS. So, um, and if I do an F disk dev sda, right, and uh, print, right, so I still have, uh, you know, the disk. So it should be on the SDB most likely, the one that I'm, I just had it. I'm gonna quit. L so that I can print it as DB. Okay, so now I see that uh, you know 53 gigabyte. It's fi I added 50 gigabyte, but it's showing a little more. It should be 53 gigabyte. Okay, um, so I should be able to make partition here. Um, to do that, I'm just gonna do F disk. Um, let me see if I part it. Part it is a better tool. Um, so I am going to. Is parted this time instead of F disk because I think I showed you a video with F disk, but this one I'm gonna show you with parted. Okay, so to do that, let me oh, 
Okay. So I'm gonna do part it s dev sdb um, mk level. I'm gonna choose uh, ms dos because I'm gonna be using the uh, logical volume here. I can use ms dos here. mk part primary with primary partition. And what does 64s? 100% it will be like a, you know, uh, SDB1. If I didn't want to have like SDB1, just use the whole disk, then I could just ignore this part. But in this case, I want to. You can look at the part of the documentation if you want to have more idea about this command. But uh, you can use exactly the similar way that I've used. Okay, so uh, let me do a disk l dev sdb. So now I have sdb one created as you see, right? So that should be fine. I send it's 53 gigabyte. So now we have the partition address. I'm just gonna create a, uh, I'm going to do a VGS, so that will show me that my volume group here. So I have this volume group called VG CentOS Best. You know, I could create a set new volume group and add the new partition, uh, a new uh, disk under the new, a new volume group. Uh, and that that will make it actually complicated. So I'm going to use existing volume groups. I'm going to expand slash var, which is the under the uh, this VG CentOS Best volume group. So if I do LV display, it's a little less. Right, you see that my volume logical volumes are under this. Uh, you see the go to var one. So, um, so you see here, this is the logical volume, and this is under this volume group center space. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the same same volume group. So I'm gonna first create a physical volume as I created in my previous video, similar way, exactly the same. And actually, yeah, that should do it. Before I do that, you can do PVS, PV display, just to see what you have already. So I only have one disk, which is slash dev, uh, you know, SDA2. So I'm just going to add one more to the physical volume. So I'm going to PV create dev SD. Done. So if I do a PV display again, and uh, now I can see my new disk here, 50 gigabyte, right? Okay. okay, now I'm just gonna do a VG extend. So now I'm gonna do my volume group, uh, add this physical volume to my volume group, physical volume to my uh, physical volume to my volume group, so that I can use it, right? So to do that, you just use the VG extend command. Uh, this and dev sdb1 done. So I do VGS, I now have 50 gigabyte free here, okay, on my volume group. So now I can assign this additional 50 gigabyte to any of the logical volume. I could you know, assign some into, um, you know, rule, uh, some into var, some into opt, right? So if I do df minus h, I still have, you know, so I'm gonna assign 50 gig to to the var. Okay, to do that, I just do LV. Actually, let me do LVM, LV display, and just to know the name of the. Uh, so it's uh, okay. LV var. Okay. So we're gonna do uh, LV extend L plus 50 g. Okay. It might not give me exactly 50 gig, but uh, I might complain. Then we might use a different method, but uh, that's what I like. Okay, let me do uh, dev yeah, VG sent to its best. And then LV var. 
Okay, so you do not going to give me exactly exactly 53.91. Okay, because uh, so we can also so it's saying that you know insufficient extent extends right. It means 1200 to 12,800 extends, but it only have 12,700. So so sometimes you can do like 4.49.999 something like that. I could do that, but I have a better way. It's LB extend. L plus twelve seven nine nine nine. So that tells extent. I'm going to use extent instead of the uh, this size. That's similar. So it's going to calculate automatically. So let do dev bg. Sorry. Yes. There you go. Just got it. So now, if I do LV display, uh, notice it was 3.9 gigabyte, 9.1 gigabyte here, right? So now I'm going to do the same command, and now uh, okay, now 53.9 gigabyte here. Okay, let's extend it. So now we can, you know, extend our partition, uh, you know, resize to a first command. We can use it to extend the partition. So I'll do resize, like I did in my other video, same way. HP, dev uh, mapper, uh, center space, LB bar. Okay, so I can just resize now. If it's a very busy file system, it's better, you know, you might have issues, but in this case, it's not too busy. So we can do it, like, I do it live all the time. Uh, so the live environment doesn't have any issue, usually, unless it's very busy. So now you can see that, uh, you know, I have 51 gigabyte available and I didn't even have to reboot the VM while I did all this so that's pretty cool okay uh, so uh, anyway that's about it uh, thanks for watching